Hi friends, uh, in this video I am going to talk about the two thermodynamic cycles on which the present generation engines are working. One is the auto cycle and the next one is the diesel cycle. Hope this learning will be useful to the students. The engine word, how it is derived is, it is derived from a Latin word, ingenium. Ingenium means in the Latin, it is an energy producing device. All the automobiles of present generation are fitted with the internal combustion engines. Before going in detail about the internal combustion engines, let us also have a brief about there are other types of engines which are called the external combustion engines. What is an external combustion engine? One example for such external combustion engine is a locomotive engine, steam engine actually. If you see this locomotive steam engine you can see uh, the old locomotives in the movies or uh, even somewhere it is uh, displayed in front of major railway stations those engines used to run with a boiler and the coal what is external combustion engine means the name itself is telling us combustion takes place externally outside the engine so there will be a boiler filled with water and that boiler is heated with the coal or some other fuel majority with the coal so when the water in the boiler is heated with coal so it transforms into the steam the energy heat energy from the steam is passed through the different pipelines and acts on a piston so which makes the piston to move when the piston starts moving whatever the links are connected to the piston also starts moving and these links are connected to the wheels with a crank mechanism so the reciprocating motion or linear motion of this piston inside this cylinder transforms into rotation rotation rotary motion of the wheels through this crank arrangement see this animation this is the steam coming out of the boiler here it is entering it is entering into the valve this is the valve so one side it is entering and it is pushing the piston when it is entering it is entering the other side it is again pulling the piston this operation repeats causing the cylinder move to and fro in a linear way and all this linkages are connected to the cranks of the wheels so this linear motion of the piston is converted into rotary motion this is one example of external combustion engines there are few more examples like the steam turbines etc etc this is the animation of the locomotive how it moves then let us go to our what is an internal combustion engine again here as mentioned in the name an engine where the combustion takes place inside the cylinder inside the cylinder air or air fuel mixture is drawn inside the cylinder and this is compressed to raise the temperature or the friction at the time a spark is ignited or spark is generated in case of a air fuel mixture in case only air is compressed then the diesel is injected in the atomized form so when the diesel is injected the compressed air gets burned combustion takes place when the combustion takes place due to the expansion of the gases above the piston creates a thrust over the piston makes the piston to travel downwards so that is the effective stroke stroke of the internal combustion engine again the cycle repeats all the burnt gases are evacuated through the valves or ports as the case may be again fresh air is drawn compressed fuel is injected power stroke is generated when the piston is moving up and down it is connected to a crankshaft through a connecting rod so because of this crank mechanism the linear motion again here it is converted into rotary motion 
is how you can see the fresh charge fresh charge is coming compressed spark is ignited and this dark color exhaust gases are being sent out of the cylinder this internal combustion engines works mainly on two thermodynamic principles which are those two thermodynamic principles let us see one is the auto cycle which is invented by a german engineer nicolas auto in 1876 this is the auto cycle i do not want to go in details about this thermodynamic cycle which is it is very very uh, vast subject i'll just limit my discussion just to understand what happens in the auto cycle engine this is also called spark ignition engine because the combustion takes place with the generation of the spark inside the combustion chamber okay so what happens here observe this graph this is the volume x axis y axis is the pressure okay so this particular red one 2 to 3 is the when where the power is generated the combustion process takes place what is happened here mainly the combustion process or the thermal energy generated here in the auto cycle is at constant volume constant volume okay. this is the main difference now see sequence one by one 0 to 1 for a easy understanding i am explaining the process in a four stroke engine there are two stroke engines works with auto cycle also but for the easy understanding i am explaining the sequence of the auto cycle in a four stroke engine the first sequence the volume and pressure both are zero here 0 to 1 is the traveling of the piston from tdc to bdc tdc is the top dead center of the cylinder bdc is the bottom dead center of a cylinder then when the piston travels from tdc to bdc the volume inside the cylinder is increased so here the volume is increased green line volume is increased so this is called suction of the air fuel mixture inside the cylinder so volume is increased due to the present difference between the atmosphere and inside the cylinder fresh air and the fuel mixture is drawn inside the cylinder then what happens in the second phase again piston travels from bd c to ttc what is happening here when the piston is traveling from down to the top the volume will reduce automatically have you seen the volume is reduced okay again what happened along with the volume you can see the pressure from here it is increased up to here this is atmospheric pressure so pressure from here to here volume also decreased the pressure is also increased this is called adiabatic compression then next sequence what happens when the piston reaches the tdc and the air fuel mixture is compressed a spark is generated inside with the uh, spark plug inside the combustion chamber so at that constant volume the spark is generated and the fuel air mixture is ignited so thermal energy is generated at constant volume 2 to 3 piston is a tdc only once the air fuel mixture is ignited in the combustion process gases expands so due to the force of the expand expansion of the gases that force acts on the crown of the piston and piston is pushed downwards this is the effective stroke which is called power here suction is over whatever is taken inside here it is compressed then because of the combustion of the air fuel mixture with the spark the gases are expanded that force is 
pushing the piston downwards when the piston is come downwards volume is increased pressure is reduced you can see this 3 4 3 to 4 volume is increasing the pressure is dropping this is called adiabatic expansion again once the piston reaches the bottom dead center at constant volume okay from here again piston goes from bdc to tdc from bdc is again 1 2 0 it goes back see the blue line so when it goes back the volume is reduced and pressure anyway it has become minimum here inside at number 4 and whatever the exhaust gases are there they are evacuated from the cylinder to the atmosphere so this is the sequence of the operation in a auto cycle or the spark ignition engine the effective work done is from 2 to 3 this is the work in and this is the outcome this is the effective energy generated this is the animation how it works the fresh air is coming inside being compressed spark is ignited expansion taken place then again the gases are sent out dark color gases are sent out this is about the auto cycle and in the auto cycle the compression ratio will be approximately 1 is to 9 because here the air fuel mixer is entering inside the cylinder and 1 is to 9 compression ratio is enough for the proper combustion process let us go to the other this is called diesel cycle see the difference and this is invented by again a german engineer mr rolf diesel in 1892 the auto cycle was invented somewhere in 1867 and this is invented in 1892 that is after 25 years that was called the spark ignition engine whereas this is called the compression ignition engine there is no any spark generation in this process let us understand the sequence of this type of engine how it works here also i am showing for easy understanding four stroke engine only this is the graphical representation zero x axis again volume y axis again pressure okay here from this volume from here v2 to 0 1 the piston travels from top dead center to bdc creating increasing the volume creating the vacuum and the fresh air air alone here not with the fuel air alone enters inside then the piston again starts moving from bottom to top okay from 1 to 2 decreasing the volume increasing the pressure you observe this graph earlier in the auto cycle the volume is decreased up to here no doubt but where is the pressure increased only up to somewhere here here only if you observe that graph okay that is also difference so here the volume is decreased and pressure also increased enormously so this is called isentropic compression then once it is reached here on the tdc the fuel is injected through a injector in the atomized form and the combustion takes place at constant pressure so whatever the injector is coming injection coming so that combustion takes place at constant pressure for a moment this is the thermal energy obtained during the process so once the combustion once the fuel is injected combustion has taken place the gas starts expanding 
with the force of the expansion of the gases the piston here is pushed to down this is also an effective stroke in this compression ignition engine the piston is pushed down means the volume inside the cylinder is increased pressure is automatically reduced see this graph from 3 to 1 piston is traveling downside the volume is increasing the pressure is dropping so once the pressure is dropped when it reaches to the bottom most center and 4 to 1 whatever is there energy Q out the energy out so the exhaust gases start going out from again BDC to TDC from 1 to this place 4 to here so whatever the exhaust gases are available they starts going out observe this work input is the compressing the air inside the cylinder that's what what we are giving the input then 2 to 3 is the energy generated during the compression process that is the Q in work out which is used to push the piston downwards that's what we are getting output from this engine after seeing those two cycles auto cycle and diesel cycle one thing we have observed that to generate the power inside the engine we need three elements one is the oxygen the other one is the fuel whether it's a petrol or diesel and the third one is the friction or heat so how they contribute for the to generate the thermal energy or heat let us see to generate any fire or combustion these three elements are required one is the oxygen which is available in the atmosphere friction due to the compression of the gases the friction is generated inside the cylinder the fuel whatever we are using petrol or diesel whatever may be what happens in the cylinder also we will see before going to the engine cylinder take a simple example what we use daily is a matchstick so take this matchstick which is made with a wood piece at one end of the matchsticks a chemical is pasted here the chemical contains sulfur or phosphorus so what we do take out the stick and this end we will scratch here when we scratch here this is also a rough surface this is also a kind of rough surface but with fuel when these two rough surfaces rub each other friction is generated in between those two parts due to the friction generated in between this stick and this rough surface whatever the fuel is here sulfur or phosphorus is ignited so it start burning once it starts burning whatever the oxygen is available in the atmosphere will help to continue this flame with the matchstick also what happens inside the cylinder this is the piston this is the cylinder this is a piston we will charge with fresh air or air fuel mixture as case may be and we will compress the same by pushing the piston upwards when it is compressed the friction is generated between the air molecules and heat is generated at that moment we will inject the fuel so the combustion takes place so when the combustion takes place the gases starts expanding so because of the expansion force the piston starts pushing downwards like this to confirm that all these three elements are essential for the fire or combustion you see this example also there is a candle burning candle on a table you can see the lamp is burning the candle consider this candle as a fuel and the fuel is burning with the lamp so what happens if you close this burning candle with a glass cup in few minutes this lamp goes off why the lamp goes off whatever the oxygen was there it is consumed and there is no more oxygen is left so when there is no oxygen in spite of having 
this flame and fuel it cannot continue to burn okay. so these three elements are must to generate the combustion or fire friends uh, hope you got some broad idea about the auto cycle and diesel cycle uh, go through these uh, four pages notes in case you have any queries you can always contact me through the email please do subscribe and tell your friends to subscribe to my channel Thank you.